it's really peculiar the way things went down with, with me and Scott because I was in Finland doing a radar record thing for a magazine one time and they'd given us the uh, core record to review. And I was listening to it and I thought, either this is a really bad joke or these guys are going to be massive because they've got a sound that's very similar to a lot of the great bands that are in the alternative scene right now. But I don't know if it's a parody or if it's the real deal. And the more I listened to it, the more I really grew to respect his vocals. And I, I thought that Robert, uh, his, his playing was really great too. So they were called Mighty Joe Young at the time. And um, I talked to our manager and I said, I want to take these guys out. And the manager said, well, you know, people just aren't digging on them. And I was like, I don't care, I want to take them out. So in 1992 on the Countdown to Extinction Tour, we took Stone Temple Pilots out. and. They were doing pretty good, and, and um, I just there, there was something that was just off a little bit, and I, and I said, hey, do you guys mind if I help you with your set list? And we talked a little bit about, you know, rearranging the songs and climaxing and, you know, settling down into a groove in the middle, and there was one part that was really funny. They have an uh, instrumental song, and, and Scott just stands out there on stage, and I said, so what's this song? Knowing full well what it was, and I, he goes, well, it's an instrumental, and I said, and? Well, why are you standing out there? I said, go off to the side of the stage. And, and I told him the song where he does the, I think, Cracker Man, I don't know, with the bullhorn thing. Use that as your opener because it's, it's kind of cheeky, and it's a cool way to kind of start, start the set. And they took off after that. Their set list was great. The pulse, the, the, the timing and everything was perfect. And, and the thing that I regret was at the end of the tour, I told him, I said, look, Scotty, you're going to be huge. You're going to have money. You're going to have drugs. You're going to have pussy, and it's going to be everywhere. And I said, if you do anything, stay away from heroin. And I probably should have said, do as much as you can, because, you know, he did the exact opposite. And the sad thing is that anybody that n knows Scott or that was around him was aware of what was going on. And just like the guy that was in Millie Vanilli, um, they took him out of rehab and put him on the road, and he wasn't, he wasn't even done with the rehabilitation process, and he died, you know? N no song, no performance, no amount of money is worth uh, human life. And I think that the music industry suffered a, a tragic loss, um, but there, I, as much as it, you know, the onus is on Scott for doing it, there are other people that are responsible for that.